Hi, welcome to the Gastro and Tinnitus Blues. My name is Steve Lipman, joined as always by Emily Cannell, Dan Volpone, and we have a very special guest with us today. Uh, you surely know him. Uh, his real name is Alexander Tominsky. Uh, you know him online as Smooth Recess at Alex Icon Tom. Uh, he is uh, known very popularly in Philadelphia because he ate 40 rotisserie chickens for 40 consecutive days in Philadelphia. Um, he's a very popular guy, and we we're very happy to be joined by him now to talk more about that uh, very special feat. Alex, how are you, Alexander? How are you doing? I feel great. I feel like my body has finally built itself back to its uh, original stature. Uh, my yeah. gut uh, seems to be pretty healthy, um, and my overall uh, mental state is pretty good, but it's still a little bit overwhelming considering uh, the amount of interest in the whole uh, chicken uh, situation. I mean, it really took the world by storm. I mean, we just just from our perspective, we've interviewed Kate Scott, who does the Sixers games. We've interviewed play guy who's on this who's on the Sixers now Paul Reed U.S. presidents uh you know everybody but we have been excited for nobody more than you and, and we're just very happy to have you on I'll just start off we've got some questions for you uh take us through the journey with the rotisserie chickens how did it begin and when did you notice that people were starting to like really take notice of what you're doing yeah so it started quite simply I was hungry one day before work so I grabbed the rotisserie chicken and started eating it. And maybe it was like a spell of madness, but something about it seemed uh, really special. And I decided to, I decided to record each day. Um, so each day I would take a picture of the poultry and it wasn't until day 11, I decided to start sharing it publicly. And uh, you know, I had 500 Twitter followers, so it wasn't too many people watching and then on instagram i'd only post it to my close friends group uh stories and uh yeah i kept doing that and then decided to really share it with the world so i made a poster and uh threw it up around east pass young mostly and uh, that's when it really took off and started posting it on instagram to you know all the people in my uh, my friends group and then uh the twitter followers started coming in and it just started to gain traction people really enjoyed watching someone eat for some reason not really to, sure why i have to ask you know um like why why when did you set the goal of 40 days was that the original goal or did that kind of come into be uh so the original goal was seven and then it went to 30 and then uh the number 40 represents uh perseverance or perseverance whichever one um and rebirth which is pretty interesting so i felt like that was a uh, a number that just made good sense and 40 is definitely cooler than 30. and i i gotta ask you know you were very adamant that this was not a party uh you know i gotta know why why was this not a party and were you worried that people were going to make it a party yeah i mean like i just like the idea of people quietly or just respectfully observing someone eat a rotisserie chicken on an abandoned pier near Walmart. Something that about that seemed a little bit more interesting than a bunch of people just pounding beers, uh, watching someone eat. Definitely made it a different vibe, which I think worked out beautifully. There's children there, there was elderly there, all sorts of different demographics. Um, just felt, felt right. So how difficult was it for you to do this? Was it more difficult physically or mentally? It, both. So when I first started uh, eating the chicken and I would do it in one sitting, it would take about 20 minutes and towards the end it took about two hours. And then that uh, the day on the pier, it was one hour. And since we're outside, the chicken dried out really, uh, really quickly, made it challenging. It was also mentally uh, difficult because when you're going to a grocery store every day and buying a rotisserie chicken, there's been days where I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Um, <laughs> but I, something came over me. I was like, I just got to keep doing it. I, I know all the people at the grocery store probably think I'm a lunatic, which I, which I may be, but um, had to push through and kind of get over that little mental 
uh, block for myself as well. So. What was like the hardest day or stretch of days? Like, cause I imagine like, you know, maybe 40 wasn't the toughest day. Like maybe it was like somewhere in the middle. Like what was the worst time? Uh, the worst time was probably day 32 to 38 because uh, that's when my body really started reacting to like the amount of sodium. big stretch. Yeah, uh, I was yeah. bloated, um, had constant heartburn. My esophagus was all raw from the heartburn and the, the like the reflux. Um, and in order to even swallow the chicken, I just had to like mash it up in my mouth to make it like a paste. And it was like the only way I could swallow it. It was like, it was, it was actually really bad. But the thing that's funny is, uh, you know, all these weightlifters and whatnot, they're like, oh, I do that. I've been doing that for years. The difference is, it might be easy for you, but it was hard for me. I, you know, I never said I was a hero for eating chicken. I think people just like the idea that this was a challenge for me and they decided to get, get behind that. So what were your other meals like during the day? I assume you didn't just eat chicken for 40 days. Yeah. So when I started, it was a little bit of yogurt and like a carrot or something like at the end of the night, maybe like an IPA or whatever. And then towards the end, when I started having stomach issues, I had no appetite for any food. Uh, even drinking water as much as it should have been an easy task was difficult because my stomach was just so uh, irritated and upset. It actually took like four days after the 40th day to even start to develop an appetite again. So that leads me into my question. Did you consult with any medical professionals throughout this process? Would that be cheating or like, how did that work? Uh, no, I should have, but I didn't want to psych myself out. What about I afterwards? Still, I still, I should have gotten blood work. But I haven't. <laughs> Maybe I will Got soon it. enough, but I've been, I've been trying to eat pretty healthy and drinking a lot of water. And I feel good, you know, hitting the sauna every day, trying to sweat it out. You look great. I mean, you're no worse for the wear. We didn't see you before this necessarily, but you look great. I feel so great. Our, uh, our podcast is called the Gastroenteritis Blues. It's like an inside joke about the Sixers. Uh, for years, I've had uh, gastrointestinal issues. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you, and you can pass on this. Did you have any gastro? intestinal issues as a result of the chicken eating on a daily basis yeah it was funny it was either seldom or very uh fluid if that makes got sense. it got it no it makes sense i'm picking there up was no in out. between yeah there was yeah. uh it was a little little bit volatile but uh, always not a pleasurable one got it <laughs> understood have you uh like, were you interested in like food challenges or like professional eating before this? Like, have you ever like wa like watched like the Nathan's hot dog eating contest and idolized Joey Chestnut or what? No, I I, I mean I respect all that stuff, but uh, I don't really follow it and didn't even think of it as like one of those sort of challenges when it started. It was just something I was doing. Um, I did host an egg eating contest once, maybe like eleven or twelve years ago that pretty fun you know there was a lot of peeling to be done my hands were all fucked up but uh had a good turnout for the egg eat. it was almost like the predecessor uh, predecessor for the chicken thing so since you uh completed your mission what yeah thank you for the support <laughs> Pat. Pat. oh Pat. good to see you yeah, yeah thank you, I'll see you later tonight. um hold on one second you're fine Go ahead. perfect lead into my question <laughs> yeah you real. can't go anywhere anymore it's famous it's unreal you could say the egg came before the chicken for him for him it did oh, yeah true. Uh, you'll see me in some capacity all right see you Bye -bye. thank you yeah this stuff happens all the time it's weird this is my exact question like what is your yeah. life like now that you are you know famous throughout the city uh, it's pretty cool. You know, people come over and they, they cheer me on or they give me the thumbs up or like thumbs down. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's some haters for sure. Um, but, you know, I think overall people tell me that it really brought a little bit of joy to their life. And it was like a kind of like a lighthearted, nonsensical thing that 
uh, resonated with people in different ways. So I'm happy about that. I do have to say it was really, I don't know if you were following the Phillies in the World Series, but it was really perfect timing. It's like you yeah. took the city out of their like depression and gave us something to like love online. And it was great. Yeah, it was, uh, it was surprising the timing actually. I was uh, pretty happy that uh, I could, you know, cheer up the city. I was unhappy that the Phillies lost, of course, but I'm happy that people found an outlet to unite and uh, sort of celebrate something. So, you know, you mentioned this is your second poultry related challenge with the, you had the egg eating contest and you had the chick, you had, you know, not a contest, but your own, you know, chicken challenge to yourself. Um, is there anything else? I'm sure it's not chicken that, you know, might come in the future, even if you don't know what it is now, like, might we see something where, you know, you have another challenge towards yourself coming forward? The only challenge I'm working on now is living my life. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I had in mind. Yeah. And so this is a, a bit of a philosophical one for you. Obviously for you, the, the eggs came before the chicken, but in a, in a larger sense, what came first here, the chicken or the egg? That's, that's something I'm going to have to keep considering. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I'll have to do one more challenge to figure out, uh, like just eat raw chicken and eggs for like 10 years. And, and <laughs> I don't think you want to commit to that. <clears throat> so as we've mentioned, we are a Sixers podcast who just dabbles in lots of other stuff. But are you a Sixers fan? you have any comments on any of the, the sports seasons going on these days? Uh, you know, Philly, we, we dig deep. We, we drive it. And uh, I love everything Philadelphia. There's actually a few. Philly, uh, we're. Uh, I'm excited to say with the, the restaurant I work at, so have like a little bit of a, I don't know, not a real personal relationship, but a more uh, powerful understanding of who these people are, which is, makes it pretty cool as well. Hey, but I do have to run. Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I'm actually sure. on the clock right now. I might get in trouble. <laughs> no, you're good. We really yeah. appreciate the time, man. Thank you so much for doing this. And I'm sorry that I had to run so early, but I, I appreciate you guys. And uh, thanks for taking the time to ask me those questions. No, yeah, you're good, man. You. Thank you so much Thank for doing this. So All right, cool. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Well, there he goes. Uh, just, just an incredible thing to happen. Uh, that was Alexander Tominsky, AKA smooth recess at Alex icon, Tom on Twitter. Uh, the guy who ate 40 consecutive rotisserie chickens. Uh, that's, that's really it. Uh, the one question we did not get to ask him. I know everybody's at home wondering when are you going to ask him, uh, is a lamb a sheep or did you know that a lamb becomes a sheep? That was the one thing I was unable to ask him. So we'll have to tweet at him and, and get that on the record. Um, all right.